Hi, Dave from Buzzy here. And this is just a quick demo to show how we can fake breakpoints using Figma and Buzzy. So we don't have access to code breakpoints at the moment, but you can still do some cool layout stuff. So here's a demo Buzzy app. Pay attention to that header up the top there. As the screen resizes, it gets swapped out. And as it gets bigger again, we get an extra bit for over 1280s and back down. So stick around and we'll have a look at setting that up step by step. So the way it's done is with overflow clipping and wrapping. So Figma's got overflow clipping on its layers and Buzzy's got wrapping. And you can combine the two to hack some cool effects. So here's our header. Um, there's that border, that red border there is just an indicator to show where it's at. Uh, at the moment, this header is absolutely positioned, it's fixed width, fixed height, and it's constrained left and right and top. So that basically means it's going to stick to the top and resize with our screen as we go. Um, if we go over here, um, at the moment also, inside the header, we've got our different um, variations. So we've got the small header. Then we've got a shim which we're going to need later to force it to wrap and we've got a mid-size header and then we've got an extra bit which will show up on large screens and that's it there. Um, there we go. I might have to zoom out a bit so we can see it all. Okay, so there's our, there's our setup, our design stuff. Now first things first, this header here, um, we've already def defined our start screen, right? So the header here, we're going to want to make this an auto layout, but it's going to have to go horizontally because we're going to want this stuff to wrap. So there, all of a sudden, everything has now positioned within that horizontally. There's a header small um, and the shim, which is in between them, and then the other two. First things first, header small, we want that to be, kind of be in the background. We don't want it to be influenced by the other things. So... Figma's just introduced a thing recently where you can absolutely position things within an auto layout. So well, let's do that to the, that header. You'll notice there the icon's changed and it's been moved. The layer order changes in Figma. It's a Figma thing that they introduced when you do that positioning. We want it to be at the back. Actually, I'll leave it at the front for now so we can see it. What we do want to do with this is we want to fill. Um, so it's an auto layout. Um, it's been absolutely positioned now so we can't fill we need to actually manually make it the size we want and the same thing as we're doing with the header itself we want this to be left and right and top so that will stretch as our screen resizes right now we can move that into the background so that's absolutely positioned in our auto layout but it's still there and the other things we want to do this one here the mid-size header we want to set to fill and fixed height and the extra large header again we want to set to fill and fixed height they all need to have the same height as our initial small header just so that this will work header mid here we're going to turn um we're going to change it into a buzzy layout so we can have access to the min and max widths so this one we're going to make 950 and the reason it's 950 not 960 is that little shim is 10 pixels wide at the moment and so we need to account for the width of that as well okay so it's 10 pixels plus 950 gives us 960 so that min header set a min width of 950 on it there um, the extra addendum bit that we want to show up when the screen gets even bigger we're going to do the same thing it's going to be a component of type layout and its min width is going to be now 960 plus 320 gives us 1280 that's when we want it to show so that's forced to always be 320 wide as a minimum this one's 950 wide as a minimum now this stuff doesn't apply in figma it'll apply once it's published in buzzy okay so the last bit we didn't actually do before was we need this header we want it to wrap. So again, we make it a component of type layout. And for Buzzy, we enable flex wrapping. This will only work on an auto layout. So the idea is when we publish now, the header small is in the background and it's absolutely positioned 
within the header, so it'll always be there. The shim here is a fixed width and height of the same height again as our little original header small. Header mid and header large have got min width set on them and the main header has got wrapping set on it. So as the screen resizes, when it starts out small, they'll be wrapped and outside the bounds of our header, which has got a fixed height here, this header here. As the screen gets wider and there's enough space for them to wrap up or to stop wrapping, they'll be pulled up into that header area and we'll see them. Um, I'll leave clip content off for now on that header so we can actually see them wrap. But So we'll do that, but then afterwards we'll turn clip content on and they'll be hidden when they're not in view. So we'll publish that. Um, let's go look at the preview. Let it render. Okay, so there's our small header. There's our little shim, which is forcing these two, mid header and extra bit, to wrap. As we resize our screen, mid header can now fit. And so it's pulled up next to our little shim. And as we make it bigger again, extra bit gets pulled up as well. So now if we turned clip content on for our header wrapper, they will be hidden and they just automatically appear as we resize our screen. Thanks for watching.